Hi Intune friends, in today's video we're gonna uninstall uh, Microsoft Teams Classic and there's a reason why you have to do that before the 1st July. It's gonna stop to work. So first you probably want to know how many Microsoft Teams Classic you have in your organization. The easiest way is you go to IntuneMicrosoft.com, then you click on apps. On apps you can click on monitor and here we have discovered apps. So we click here and then we get all our apps. So here we can type in Teams Classic and search. And here we see we don't have that many, but I want to uninstall them. So uh, we also can see on this mach very machine I am on, if I install, uh, if I write Teams Classic, I have it installed here. And you can obviously look in installed apps and we're going to see it there also, of course. So if we search here, Teams, oh, not Teams, Teams, very important. Uh, this one is not going to work anymore. So uh, I like to use this, uh, you can use anything, of course, the Google search also, Perplexity AI. And we can ask this. Uh, AI here and ask uh, uh, when will Microsoft uh, Teams uh, Classic uh, stop to work? I mean, I could probably use when it will not be supported, right? Um, Microsoft Teams Classic will stop work uh, stop to work entirely for all users on July first, twenty twenty five. I'm recording this on the 5th of June. I don't know when you're looking at this, but uh, you're probably looking maybe after 1st of July. So if you have any, get rid of them. I mean, they, they won't really work. It's some extra, it have stopped to work for Windows 10 before, but on 1st July, it will be fully disabled and unavailable on all platforms. So classic is definitely going away. So why don't remove it? Um, so we can see here if there is any, I'll just see, end of availability. We can go to this link here. Uh, da, 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 manually, no. Here we have an uninstall script. Okay, perfect. It's exactly this page I wanted. I'm going to give uh, this link here. This uh, You can see in the bottom left, it's probably small. It says aka.ms, and then they have an uninstall script. We're going to use this script, so I'm not going to be coding anything myself. They have given the solution. There are two ways you can do it with a remediation script. Then you would do, uh, I will probably show that quickly. You can do um, detection script to just look if classic is installed, the Teams classic, and then run the Microsoft script, but not everyone I have noticed who watch my videos have a remedi remediation script. So we, in this video, don't worry, you don't need remediation script. We can run a normal script. So we're going to run this script on all machines. So even if they don't have Teams, I mean, the script does nothing. If it's nothing to uninstall, it's not going to uninstall. So we're going to do it with a normal script, but I'm going to give some uh, tips if you really want to use uh, remediation script instead. Okay, so let's download this one. So you just click on this one and it's going to download the script here, uninstall script. So I have it now in my uh, uh, downloads folder. This script is actually signed. Uh, so most, no, all my scripts are not signed. It doesn't have a signature. So we can verify that. Um, let's open a PowerShell. We can open a normal PowerShell. Up. We don't have to be admin or anything, just normal PowerShell. And then we run get, see if I can, nope, authent, I thought I, oh, I can, signature, signature, and then it needs to be the uh, file path, and the file path is, you know what, I'll, I'll steal that one here, and then uh, tab, it started with uninstall, okay. So now we're going to check, is there a signature on this file? And very much it is, and it's valid. So this is going to change a bit the options when we run this in Intune. Uh, I'm just going to show you how you make this one not valid. So if I go in here, 
lets me open this in Notepad. And I want to change something. I want to say, uh, uh, I put another comment here and say, GBN script. Um, can I type script? Yay! And then I save it. Now I have broken the signature because the signature ensure that the content is exactly as it is. And here, here is uh, sort of the signature. So now I have saved this one. I have done a modification to the file. Now I have broken the signature. So if we run the same command here, the same file, just that I added my stupid comment there in the top, now it says the hash mismatch. So it's like, yeah, this is not uh, valid anymore. So I'm gonna delete this file. Download it again, because I actually want this um, uh, signature. I mean, it's not end of the world. If you world, if you want to change it, you can. But then uh, what we do later, when we're going to put the switch and say that this uh, is um, it's a sign script, then it will fail if we do that. So I click here again on this. I'm going to download a fresh one. And if we look the signature, it should be back good now because I downloaded and I haven't val I haven't modified it, so it's valid. So we got it. Uh, we could run this script on my machine just to verify that it works. So see here, I have Team Classic. I can probably even start it. I haven't started this one yet. So this is our friend uh, Teams Classic. Let me close this one, and let's run this script. So. Um, Ah, I'm, I'm nearly there, right? I go in, uh, not documents, downloads. And if I do a dir or I prefer ls, then we have the uninstall. So I'm just going to call the uninstall and let's see what it does. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't always, let's say you run once. That's not an issue when you run it through um, Intune. Now I need to be admin, of course. I didn't start the PowerShell as admin, but to run the script, you have to be admin. And no worries, we're gonna run it as system. Oh, it seems to be some worries anyway, not allowed. Maybe I have to open the PowerShell as uh, admin then, my bad. PowerShell, let's run as admin. And of course it go outside my profile now. So let me just go back where we were. Users, John, my download folder. No, not document, download. Look here, we still have it. Okay, now let's run this. Hopefully it goes better this time. Uh, run once. Okay, so it finished to run. Run, it is giving back a JSON, nice. So now if I try to look for Teams, I still have Teams, it's just the classic was gone. And it's maybe, yeah, you remember it was a classic one here. So this script seems to work just fine. Now, fine, now one of my machines don't have it, but I have more machines. So now let's put this uh, script and deploy it to all our users. I said I would do something for remediation script, yes. Let's um, let's do that part. Uh, so terminal, and I just give the beginning, but uh, I have a full course on um, on how to do a remediation scripts. So you can look some of my other videos. But remediation scripts look if it's installed, and if it's installed, it exit with one. If it exit with one, that means it's a problem. Then it's going to run the actual fix who fix it, the remediation script, which is the file we download. But a, a pre-script, uh, pre the detection script, could be something like winget, and now it's not gonna work on this machine. I should have run that before. Um, ring, winget list, and if we list, we see, get all the software that's installed on this machine. And if we do winget list, dash dash id uh, it's actually microsoft teams dot um, classic then you can look for the output if the output is no input package found matching in, matching input criteria then you're good so since i have uninstalled it let me well you know what we can install it i um 
I'll, I'll put it back on this machine. Winget install dash dash id uh, Microsoft dot Teams Classic. And this is going to stop the work at the 1st ju July. I don't think they're going to provide this. Uh, let's see. I'm not, I didn't start this one as an admin again. Or did I? I don't think so. So, but I think it's going to prompt for me and I'm going to get it back. Successfully installed. Maybe it's installed for users. That's fine. So now if we um, uh, refresh here. Yep, I saw it there. Teams uh, Classic is back. So if I do an arrow up here and run this command again, win get list ID, we should not get, oh, it doesn't exist. Yep, we get the, this instead. So what you can do in the um, prescript is just to look if it doesn't show this value, no install package, if that's not the value, then exit with one. Anything else, exit with zero. Because uh, so, sorry, that's wrong. If this exit with zero, if it's not this exit with one, because if, if it's not a uh, no install package, that means it's probably installed right, and then you want to run the other script. Okay, so enough about remediation script. Now we're not going to use that in this video, even if we could. We're going to use the normal script. So here we go to Microsoft. Sorry, we go to IntianMicrosoft.com, and where should we put this? Well, it's going to be device, says, and it's going to be scripts and remediation, but we're going to use scripts. So again, here is the remediation. We're going to go platform script, and that, if you have Intune, you have permission to use this. So remediation might require another license. Okay, so we add Linux, no, Mac OS, no, Windows 10 or later. Well, definitely later. So we do this one. We need to um, find a good name. I'll not, well, I'm not so good at good name, but you find something better. Uninstall Microsoft Teams Classic. Very important date, the classic. Um, what I'm doing, uh, copy this one. Uh, since it will stop to work um, 1st July, 2025. And script ready. So script location, I've left mine in the download folder. It's maybe not the best place to keep your files, but I got it there. So open this one. Here, run the script with user logged in. No, 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 we want to run it um, uh, as a system. So say no. Here, first time ever in any of my videos, we actually keep it yes here and for script signature check. Since you remember, oh, I don't have that any longer. It's higher up. No, it's the wrong window, this one. Uh, we had checked here that it is actually a signer certificate valid. So we can keep it yes. I mean, you can keep it no also. It doesn't really matter, but this is more secure. Uh, run in 64-bit holes, yes. So. We definitely want to run it as a system, not user. We actually can have it checked to yes here and run a 64-bit. I skip uh, scoop tags. Assignment, I want this on all my uh, Windows machines. So I have uh, Azure AD Group, GBN, all Windows. I should have something, yep, yeah, all Windows devices. I mean, we could do an uninstallation for Mac OS. Uh, let me let me do that in this video as well. It was mostly for Windows, but if you run with Mac OS, I have a script for that as well. So we assign this, and now we are going to uninstall. So let's look quickly for um, uh, Mac OS also. Here comes the bonus to do the same on Mac OS. I just quickly wanted to say something I forgot, who doesn't matter actually, but when you download a file that you want to use, it's good to take properties and unblock. But it doesn't matter because on uh, Intune, we were just uploading the content, not using the actual file. But I think that's a good practice. Okay, with that out of the way, we need one more script for the Mac OS, so let's create one here. We can create it in um, 
Notepad++ plus plus is better than Notepad, what I have understood for that. That's uh, our script here, but here's for the Mac OS. Okay, so we do this uh, shebang, and then we do uh, bin bash to just tell that it's a bash script. Then what we're gonna do, well, we're gonna delete, so we're gonna just delete the app from application. So we do an RM, then we do recursive, so anything, and then that's a folder. And where is this application on Mac? Well, it's under Applications. Important that the A is a capital. Then it is a Microsoft. Then it's a space. When you do a space, you need to do a backslash. If not, it's going to cut here and think, oh, we're fine. The rest, whatever comes after, is an argument. And then it is Teams. And again, a space, classic, lowercase, dot, app. So this should be our script. We just tell, hey, uh, shebang bin bash and run this um, verify that encoding is UTF-8 I think we should be good it's better to use maybe code this on a Mac machine but I think we should be good I'm going to save this one we put it in the download that's not the best uh, place right but um, I keep the same name but call it dot uh, sh for shell script Looks good. Let's see what the um, intern is going to complain if he doesn't like it anyway. So we are already, I'll go back to the start, but here we would go um, devices. Then we go Mac OS and scripts. And let's add a script. Let's call it like this, uninstalled Microsoft Team Classic and description uh, due to no longer supported or working after uh, 1st July 2025. Then we go next. Here comes the test if the script works. If not, we said we put it in download right. Uninstall PowerShell, this one. It likes it perfect. If it didn't, it would have complained here. Run the script as a sign in user again. No, 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 we don't want that. Hide a notification on device. Uh, sure, we want it just silent. Script frequently. Ah, oh, like this. Uh, I wanted just to run it once though. Um, well, I'm gonna run it every week and then um, we can, you know, uh, cancel it uh, after a few months. I mean, it's not gonna come back. Um, time retry. I mean, mm. Two times. I mean, this either this uh, work or it doesn't. It doesn't need more extra. So this looks good. I don't use any scope tags. Assignment. I should have a group for all my uh, Macs, all one of them that I have. Uh, do I? Um, all MacOS devices. I do. Perfect. Next review. This looks great. So this was a bit extra for her Mac OS as well, uh, a bit easier than on Windows, you just remove it. It's possible um, in the dock when you remote like this, if someone had pinned this to the dock, which I doubt, but if they had, it's going to change to a question mark and when they click on it, it's going to say, hey, do you want to keep it? And there, it doesn't reference anything, then delete it. Just a sign no, I think it's just a refresh and it's going to change to yes, 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 yes. Okay. Lot longer video than I thought. I thought it would be a five minutes video just showing the script download, but I like to extend it a bit. So thank you very much for watching. See you in another video. Have a great day.